All right, hi everyone. So today we're gonna to take a look at how to get your Arduino Grove Beginner Kit board working. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to arduino.cc and download the software. So this is separate from MATLAB, uh, only required. So I'm gonna download it for Mac OS X, but you can also get it from the Microsoft uh, Windows App Store or download the Windows installer like that. It's basically the same thing. Um, just download like that. And so it's currently downloading one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, almost there. All right. And then depending on what your computer is, you'll have to install it one way or another. There's just different methods. So I am, let's see, going to grab it right here. It's almost done. Almost there. It's a big download. Lots of good stuff in it. There we go. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it in my applications folder. Go into applications and double click on it. I might get a uh, verification notice in Windows or Mac OS 10. I will verify it. And we're just going to make sure that the uh, the board itself is working. Well, you can see it's working because there's a light that's flashing on there. But I, I want to actually get the connection to the computer working. All right. So uh, it is loading up. Yes, I trust this. I'm going to open it. And uh, there's a splash screen that just came up on my other window, on my other screen. You can't see it in the recording but it's just the Arduino splash screen for the application. It's starting up and then I will bring over the application here in a sec. Okay. All right, here we go. So this is uh, a simple application right here. I'm going to go into examples, basics, blink. That's the standard one that we like. All right, we can see right here, this is it. Fantastic. So what's, what's important is that I'm just gonna disconnect this here. There, that's disconnected. I'm going to go into tools. I'm now going to go into ports and we can see that in terms of ports, we're talking about the USB connections and that they're not listed. Um, there's a Bluetooth incoming port, but that's for, for something different. Now I'm gonna plug in my board and it should actually detect the connection to the Arduino. Just a moment, there we go. We can see that the power LED is on right there. I'm gonna go back into tools, port, and it is referred to as dev cu usb serial 0001 okay like that fantastic i select that now i'm going to compile we should see it says compiling sketch right here oh i forgot to do something i had to select what kind of board i was dealing with by default it pretends or it assumes that we're using an arduino uno we're actually going to um continue to believe that here. So we're gonna make sure that Arduino Uno is selected as a type of board because there are different types of boards. Okay, so we're gonna compile that one more time like this. And we're gonna keep in mind that we can see down here at the bottom, it says Arduino Uno and dev CU USB serial 0001. On your computer, it is very likely to be different. Okay, so you have to find which of these ports it is. Now I'm gonna download that onto the board. We'll see that there's a light that just flashed down there, that meant communication. And now this LED right here is blinking. If I wanted to get that LED blinking again, I have to activate D4. So let's go and check that out. So we're gonna go like this, instead of LED built in, we're gonna say, I think it's D4 like that. Or is it four? Four, I think it's four. I'm gonna go four here. And four there, let's send it down again. Ah, and there we go. Now, if we want both of them working, let's go like this. I believe that's 13. We've got to change the pin mode right there to 13. 
and then oh, this one right here we're going to make this one as well low as 13 so pin 13 should be that little green led let's download it in and now both of these now both of these are flashing that's four and that's 13. okay the built-in led is there and d4 or pin 4 is right there all right so we see that this is working fantastic okay so now we're going to close down oh, actually no we're not going to close this down we're going to leave it alone it should be fine um next up what we need to do is we need to go into matlab and we have to get um the arduino software driver is basically working here now i can test it to see if it works if i go a is equal to arduino just arduin like that and hit tab oh nope no completions found okay so i might not have the arduino software on here what i need to do is to go and install it so we're going to go here to add-ons get hardware support packages I forget which computer I've actually installed the Arduino support package for MATLAB on. Okay, MATLAB support package for Arduino hardware. That's what we want. We do not want the legacy one. Don't use that one. Use this one. So I click on this one. I'm going to say install, install. Oh, now I have to put in an account. Okay, so this is your um, email address that you use from, from York, okay, because that's the one that you should have registered at the MathWorks. So I'm going to say dr smith like that at yorku.ca. All right, now I'm just going to move this away and type in my password. Let's see if I can get that right. Does it work? I think it might be working. It seems to be downloading. I'm currently on version 2021A of MATLAB. You could be using 2021B as well. That would probably work just fine. I know last year with version 2020A and B it worked. And it should work under both Windows and Linux. We're going to go next like that. So now it's downloading the different packages. Right, right, we're getting there. We just have to take our time. Grab a coffee. Go for a walk outside. Just had a sip of coffee there. Depending on your connection, this may take longer, may take shorter. If you're having difficulties, try as much as you can to have a solid internet connection. All right, like a wired connection is always a good idea. In my case, that's what I have. Uh, wired to the router of your house. Uh, if you're on campus, um, there's a lot of really good Wi-Fi on campus that you can use. Otherwise, find your favorite coffee shop with, uh, with good internet connectivity. Downloading at night might be a good idea too, um, if there are less people around or during the day, depending on where you live. So downloads, downloads, downloads. Now you can download the support package without actually having the hardware. So even if you don't have the hardware, please make sure that you can download it onto your computer so that when you do get your hardware, you're ready to go. So for the first lab, if you don't have your hardware, make sure that you have installed at least the Arduino IDE and the uh, board support package inside of MATLAB. So 
So I'm currently running on the latest version of Mac OS X on an Intel processor, MacBook Air. Everything seems to be working just fine. Now, it is also downloading its own version of the Arduino IDE. That version of the program will be hidden from you. It requires it to download uh, software onto the board. So you can be running your own version of the Arduino IDE that you install in your program folder or in applications. MATLAB will have its own copy. All right, so installation complete. Um, you can choose to set up the, or conf complete the configuration steps now or do them later from the add-on manager in the tool strip. Well, let's see about set up now. Let's see what that does. All right, it opens up another window. Uh, do you want to set up your Arduino board connection? No, actually, we're going to say no. Next. So if ever we wanted to redo it, we can just go Arduino setup like that. Okay, show examples for support package. Yeah, you could do that. Finish. All right, so there's some documentation that pops up in another window. There we go. This is nice. This will help you get started. Okay. Excellent. So lots of good examples in here. Let's take a look here. Open live script. Yeah, so it shows you some basic commands right here, turning LEDs on and off, etc. Good. Okay, excellent. Uh, even it includes the right PWM voltage function right here. That's fantastic. Okay, wonderful. Um, I would recommend that you take a look at it later on. I'm just going to do what uh, I was planning to do anyway right here. So I am good to go. First thing to do is to copy or to write out A is equal to, whoops, A is equal to Arduino. There we go. Arduino and then slash and I take a look over in the Arduino application, what I tested earlier, and it says dev dot dev slash cu USB serial, whoops, like that, 0001, like so. And I'm pretending that my board is an Arduino Uno because it's more or less compatible with it. Um, you can also use the Nano, uh, but I find that the, the Uno works well. So I'm going to hit enter right there. And it should establish a connection. Let's take a look at what happens. So I'm having, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Ah, uh, I just saw some double flashing right there. Yes, it is updating the server code on the board. And MATLAB has just opened up its own internal version of the Arduino IDE, separate from mine. The one that I was using that you can see on the left hand side of the screen, it's opening up a second version of it. It says it's updating, and we should end up seeing this pair of LEDs right here flashing when there's communication to the board. There we go, right there. So MATLAB is currently writing through the its own Arduino IDE onto the board. Should be done now. Oh, almost there. There we go. Done. Confirmed. Here we go. It says everything's good. Wonderful. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this line right here, which is right digital pins or right digital pin singular like that. And I'm going to uh, write digital pin to object A, which is the one I just established. Uh, this is the connection to the board. I'm going to modify D13, which is digital 13, which is the LED right there. I'm going to make it a one, a, uh, a binary one, or sorry, a digital value of one, which means on. 
There we go. You can see it right there. Just before that turned on, these two LEDs turned on uh, and then off to show that messages were coming in over the USB line right there. Now I'm going to turn it off like that. Again, that LED, that LED there turned off. These two came on briefly just to show that there was some communication over USB. Let's do it for D4, which is this one up here. It's labeled D4, D4. Uh, we send a zero to it, nothing happens. Let's change it to a one and it turns on like that. Okay, so there you have it. We have a an Arduino board that has been um, programmed using the Arduino IDE as well as MATLAB. Uh, one last little thing, there's a little protective screen or a little protective cover on your OLED. You can take that off if you wish as well. Okay, take care everyone.